And with Stand for Children, we see our role as being in service to excellent leaders who have a vision and are trying to move districts toward greater justice and supporting them along the way politically, whether it's helping elect aligned school boards. I don't know how you did it, what you did. It's a longer conversation. But every two years, in almost all these school districts, there is a referendum on the direction. Every two years. And I'll tell you from having tried to recruit school board members, it's a hard thing to try to recruit people. Anybody in this room been on school board? You know how hard that job is. And when you go out and you try to recruit people, it's a very hard sell to get somebody to campaign and then serve in what is another full-time job, which is personal, which is nasty sometimes. And that's when you're trying to do the right things. So we're here to try to build a constituency that over time can support visionary leaders. And we know that they're going to leave. Now, here's the challenge. Most urban school districts Superintendents are there for about two or three years. A district we're working in right now in Phoenix, they've had five superintendents in the last four years. How are you possibly going to do anything good for kids? So we want to support you know, the Tom Bosbergs of the world in Denver so he can be there six, seven years and put some things in place and then have a board there that will then make a good choice on a transition because it really takes, what, 10 to 12 years you talked about, right? 12 years, 12 years. So got, that's where this comes in. This has to go together. We can't expect superintendents to do it alone. There has to be community support.